Hi, I'm Suzanne Robitaille. I work at Rosenbauer Child Care Center. I am the kinder room teacher and the forest school facilitator. A forest school is taking children out to the same place on a continuous basis throughout all seasons um, where children get to learn and have fun out in the forest. Or it could be a beach or a meadow or anywhere in nature as long as it's a continuous thing and um, the kids get to do their own inquiries and create their own theories and be little researchers and learn all different aspects of education whether it's language or math or art or science or even just social skills. We have some outcomes planned but quite often they don't actually happen. The kids tend to lead their own education out here so they decide what they're interested in and then we go from their interests and follow their inquiries and research from there. The children um, become involved in nature by being in nature. Um, we've had little girls sometimes who are scared of bugs and scared of dirt and don't want to be involved in the first two weeks. They're like, I don't like it. But after a little while, they come to love it and then they're disappointed when they can't come. Slowly they develop their own interests like making bird feeders or they discover a bug that they were afraid of and now we've looked it up and realized it's not dangerous, we can touch it, we can make a maze and it can crawl through it. So it changes their perspective and makes them, um, they feel an ownership to their place because we're here so often and it's almost almost like almost church-like like this is their space this is where they belong and this is where they feel comfortable i find that children don't get to be outside that much anymore and they're so connected to devices like ipads and televisions and um, the internet or video games that they don't go outside and Sometimes parents are scared to let their kids outside. Well, having the kids out here and seeing that nature can be fun and safe, even though we may have strangers come through with animals, without animals, <clears throat> they know that it's okay to say hello, it's not okay to go with them. So we talk about safety and um, the kids are aware of what's going on around them and they get to have fun and realize that nature is not a scary thing and bugs aren't scary and you know that way hopefully they'll become stewards of their environment and they will carry this on through life and be more environmentally friendly and more sustainable in their own communities and neighborhoods. We've seen a lot of change in the children's growth and development from September till June. So some children who um, are very unsure of their footing and having a really hard time coming into this space because of the rocks and the uneven ground at the beginning of the year, come Christmas, are not having an issue at all. Um, and they've built their core strength, but they've also increased their social skills. So it's okay to be the leader one day and a follower the next, or in the next five minutes. Um, the children in our group have become more like a family 